my candle is practically done for, but until it's done done, I shall use her. Let the purest and lightest of intentions light the way. So I actually want to start off this reading by opening up this month's Mindful Souls box because I haven't done that with you guys in a long time. And I always get excited because it's like Christmas, honestly. So here's my Mindful Souls box. If you don't want to watch this part, you could always skip ahead, but here we are. Mindful souls, be happy in the moment, that's enough. Each moment is all we need, not more. Mother Teresa, okay? And on the back here, ooh, yes, I'm so excited. Do you see the magnificent goodies that we have? Okay, we have some sage, we have a clear quartz chakra necklace, we have rough quartz crystal point, we have rough black tourmaline. I need this protection, baby. I have tourmaline, but you can never have enough. We have this ohm ring, beautiful. I have this tattooed on the back of my neck and this chakra and lava bracelet. I'm so excited. One thing that I always notice about Mindful Souls boxes is that they are completely and collectively aligned with what I need in that given moment. This box is centered around energy cleansing and protection and alignment. That is what I need. And so here it is. It even comes with this little sticker. I do believe it's a sticker. I never actually use them as stickers. I use them for us to, um, like pick groups with sometimes. It says new month, new beginning, new mindset, new focus, new start, new intentions, new results. So basically Mindful Souls is telling you it's time to reset so that you can feel like a whole brand new bitch. Okay, we have affirmation for friends. When I tell you this is so fitting for me right now because I'm currently in this position where I am setting certain boundaries with new people in my life and determining who is a friend, a foe, or just an associate that you can keep at arm's reach. It says, I attract only loving and uplifting people into my life. So here is the blue sage bundle which i am not going to be touching for a while because i have my own already but i'm super excited to have it stocked up and ready to go so let's see what this first one is i believe this is the the chakra necklace and yes oh that's so pretty I'm not a fan of silver, so I'll most definitely be putting this on a gold chain for myself, but that's neither here nor there. It's beautiful regardless, okay? This is what they call the Chakra Clear Quartz Necklace. What's next? What's next? Also, these little reusable bags are great. I use them whenever I want to sleep with something in my pillow, like a crystal, or if I want to travel with some crystals, I use this. So we have the Rough Quartz Crystal Point. What's next? We have the Ohm Ring. I love this so much. It resembles like a serpent for me. I like that. Let's see, how does it naturally fit on? Oh my gosh, that's perfect. I kind of have big fingers. So for this to fit me, I know that it's one of those ones that can like, yeah, you can mold it to whatever you, oh, that's so cute. I'm gonna wear this for the video. That is so cute and it's on the, the middle finger. But yeah, you can definitely adjust the sizing for yourself. All right, next. Next we have the these are the chakra and lava bracelets, which is really just one. Oh, you could probably wear this as a choker, but they doubled it. 
we'll see i might wear that as a choker as long as it doesn't actually choke me out all right so i'm gonna put that to the side because i think i'm gonna wear that and also this ring i'm going to be cleansing the energy of before i actually wear it wear it ah uh, yes hello darkness my old friend black tourmaline what would i do without you let me go ahead and clear out this mess cleanse the energy and get into today's reading welcome back welcome back welcome back welcome back to tarot with tay welcome to the tay gang if you've never been here before make sure you hit the subscribe button so as a bell to be notified every single time that i pull up okay sending you so much love so much life longevity and just whatever it is that you need at this given point in time i am super excited to conduct today's pick a card reading because it is inspired by a subscriber who left a comment to do a pick a card on what is your frequency so i thought i would combine it with a topic that i was going to be doing shortly after that anyways um so this is how a tarot reader would describe your current frequency okay so let's go ahead and get into it no long talking if you would like to book a personal reading very first link in the description box the goddess of the unknown is the only way to book a reading with me i will never ever ever follow you or dm you to solicit readings all right if anyone does that just block them all right block them report them and block them yeah let's do that report and block first okay we're doing the dice for the group selections. Group one, the number five. Group two, whoa, group two, the number six. Whichever dice calls to you is the dice that is for you. That's the group for you. Group three, we have another six. All right, and group four. I knew that was gonna happen. I fucking knew it. It's another five. I just knew. I just knew. So here we have it, folks. Um, what I'll do, I'm gonna throw in some quick some crystals really quick. Group one with the first number five, we have garnet. Group two with the first number six, we have yellow jasper. Group three with the second number six, we have Amethyst. And last but not least, group number four with the second number five, we have, I believe this is Labradorite, I'm pretty sure, but correct me if I'm wrong. And those are the four groups. You can pick based on the number. If that was too much for you, you could pick based on the crystal. So feel free to pause the screen if needed, but I'm gonna go ahead and hop into this reading and I will see you there. Bye. Group number one that selected this first number five and the garnet crystal, then this is your reading. I shall place them up there together. And we're gonna go ahead and get into how a tarot reader would describe your current frequency, okay? I'm being brought to like turn tables, like tables that literally spin um or if you're a dj take that as it resonates talk to me about my group number ones how would a tarot reader describe oh my gosh yes are you kidding me i said turntables and i said if you're a dj look at that that's literally what i was envisioning it's like two of pentacles energy how would a tarot reader describe your current energy how would a tarot reader describe my group number one's current frequency? How would a tarot reader describe my group number one's current frequency? I think that your current frequency would be described by two major components, two major energies, okay? We have the Ace of Pentacles and the King of Cups, okay? So internally, your current frequency is all about balance and what is logistically proven to work. 
your current frequency is focused on facts, on standards, and what is stable and what is true. Not so much opinion based, but factual. Although we have the King of Cups here, this is being represented to me as mental energy. Not so much emotional. Let's see. Let's clarify this. Clarify the Two of Pentacles and how this is reflected into their frequency in the, in the 3D. Too much. Clarify the Two of Pentacles for their frequency in the 3D. Too much. Keep getting two cards remember i was saying it's between two major energies but i'm not going to do it there we go ace of wands thank you so your current frequency a tarot reader would describe it as just doing what you have to do to stay afloat here um A tarot reader might say that your current frequency doesn't necessarily have a specific goal in mind. We have the Knight of Cups. But you have a sense of direction. Clarify the King of Cups and how this is reflecting into the 3D life. The page of wands that's exactly what I'm getting here okay bottom of the deck the nine of cups exactly this is why it's logistics even though yes we do have the king of cups here but you are allowing your emotions to guide you intuitively as opposed to allowing your emotions to misdirect or misinterpret energy your your current frequency is in this status of trying not to take things personally okay your current frequency is focused on what is real what is true recognizing what is false but somehow creating something of that there's this no matter what i am given i am going to create something of it i am going to make it this i'm going to make it that you're going to make something of it you're going to make something of yourself your current frequency is focused on maintenance Ma you're focused on currently maintaining something that you're doing right now so again there may not be a major goal that or a, a, a precise goal at this time i think your your main focus right now i feel like that happened for a reason i think your main focus right now is to simply get comfortable and adjust to wherever it is that you are currently so a tarot reader might also pick up on the fact that maybe you're in a new environment with new people um, or just experiencing new energies within yourself whether you're in a new environment or not there's something new going on um within or around your energy let's get further into this how would a tarot reader describe your current frequency how would a tarot reader describe group number one's current frequency we have five unity which is equivalent to the Hierophant. It says, do the right thing for the right reason. That's from saying the, lo the logics behind it. Compare traditional versus new approaches to see which works for you. A spiritually minded community. So this is why I was picking up on that. I'm not trying to get my emotions involved. I'm trying to be logical about this. Because maybe you are in charge of something or maybe you're just taking charge in a specific way in your life. And again, emotions would not assist you here. So you're trying to think logically. The five of spring. There could be some sort of conflict in your life and you are trying to keep your peace 
and find your balance with this and also find a resolution here there's a problem solver frequency about you right now like an engineer or pioneer archetype about you or even a teacher archetype you are both the student and the teacher right now I am free. You're in a current frequency that challenges anything that challenges you. And your definition of challenging something is not for the ego. It's to find equilibrium. It's to find peace. I'm brought to the fact that you are the first number five and you have the number five here. So five is a number that talks about conflict, adaptability, and resolution. Your current frequency as a tarot reader would describe it is literally thinking your way out of some sort of turmoil or conflict, but not based on emotion logically thinking, spiritually thinking. I am crown of creation. Your current frequency, again, may not have a specific goal in mind, but you know what direction you're going in. I'm feeling like there are some people, places and things that are trying to distract you or just feelings within yourself that are being triggered by other people. And you are dealing with these things by handling them in a mature, logical way. Wow. Jupiter, you're trying to expand beyond where you currently are. Again, you may not have a specific goal in mind yet, but you most definitely have a direction and you are full speed ahead. Bottom of the deck, wow, Mercury. As we keep talking about logic and communication and expression, the planet of communication comes through. Talk to me about the archetypes here. How would a tarot reader describe root number one's current frequency? This Knight of Cups is really standing out to me. There's something that you're definitely studying intently this could be yourself you could be trying to perfect your own craft you're trying to level up in one in one way or another There may have been several ideas that you have had and attempted and realized that those were not the ways that you wanted to execute, whatever this is. But now you've narrowed it down. And so whatever this narrowing down is, you have found something to focus on. Come on, archetypes, talk to me. What is it? I've never, ever, ever experienced this deck this quiet. See, the guide, as I'm talking about quiet, represents the nature of the divine in life and in yourself. You are getting more in tune with the divine and your frequency would be described as such by a reader. You're very much focused on details right now. We have Rescuer, provides strength and support to others in crisis, acts out of love with no expectation for reward. Your current frequency is focused on acts of kindness in everything that you do. You are wanting to express love with everything that you do.
although it may not be translated in the way that you would like it to be that's what it is these this two of pentacles here you have all these inner feelings inner emotions stirring here and you are really focused and examining how it's being interpreted by people around you bottom of the deck warrior strength skill discipline and toughness of will heroism stoicism and self-sacrifice in conquering the ego exactly I feel like this is a new frequency for you. I don't think you've really been worried about how your energy has been interpreted, but for some reason, spirit has thrown up a flag to say, hey, we need you to be more cognizant in this area. And you are kind of swallowing your pride, taking a, a hit at the ego, an ego death, if you will, to humble yourself in order to come into this alignment with whatever it is that spirit is trying to prepare you for or get you to create or get you to say or get you to do spirit knows that internally your heart is in the right place but your coping mechanisms or your fight or flight response or your defenses have this coming off in a whole other way and so you are sensing this spiritually you're sensing this and you're wanting to free yourself from whatever this egoic thing is you're wanting to free yourself in a way that feels free so a tarot reader would describe your current frequency as freedom in search of freedom You're very much focused on bettering yourself and just being a better fish in the pond, if you will. You're focused on, yeah, there's a fish there. You're focused on the fact that there are plenty of fish in the sea and you wanna make sure that you're being a helpful fish, a good fish, I don't know, like not in a way that you are so concerned with what people think but more so in that that warrior self-sacrificing way because you know it would be best for the greater good you're wanting to reflect your light differently you're wanting your light to be interpreted differently and so you are working on this and this is how a tarot reader would describe your current frequency thank you for choosing and trusting me to be your reader um, leave love in the comment section down below. Let me know if this reading resonated. If you picked another group, I will see you there. If you would like to book a personal reading, hit the very first link in the description box, thegoddessoftheunknown.com to book your personal reading today. If you'd like to donate to the channel, there is a PO box as well as a virtual tip jar. Always appreciated and never required, but it does help motivate your girl. Um, if you select another group, I'll see you there. But if not, bye. All right, so group number two that selected this first number six and this yellow jasper, this is your reading. So let's go ahead and get started. And immediately I was picking up on this energy of um, this group seems to be wanting to take on some sort of challenge here. It's like you have intuitively been guided to a specific direction to try this, to go here, to do that but you're questioning this guidance you're like there's no way i'm being called in this direction you're doubting the direction in which you are being called in my group number twos okay um it's almost as if you uh, you're you're literally looking at this thing and you're like there's no way that i'm meant to be successful there but yes you are i think that spirit is using this as a message to say you will be surprised with what comes through for you when you break down that that one last wall that one last barrier that has you preventing yourself from shining so how would a tarot reader describe group number two's current frequency the page of pentacles exactly you are thinking about pursuing a new path or changing directions um but not necessarily to just throw everything away no like this is a new endeavor that you're being called to um practice okay and i think that you are excited yet nervous because i feel like this is something that you kind of like you do it already 
but it's calling you to do it on a larger scale yeah this three of swords um this calls for more more vulnerability than i think you are uh open to at the moment but i think you are cracking open to said vulnerability all right let's see what is this about what is this about oh oh I'm hearing not to take that one. It's a six of pentacles reverse, if anyone was curious though. All right, let's see. Oh gosh, see, yeah, that's what it is. You're feeling like, cause I'm hearing biting off more than I can chew. You're feeling like, nah, like there's no way. You, there's something that you are simply doubting here. Your current frequency is doubting what this new this new journey this new path has for you with these two pages it has everything to do with the fact that you are simply um you're new at something or you are learning something new and it's it's got you feeling very, very vulnerable within but also inspired i'm not seeing this as um anything toxic i feel like these are childhood wounds actually that are shining through to you um let's see how this is reflecting on the surface how is this reflecting onto the surface of my group number two and their current frequency? How is this reflecting into the 3D world of my group number twos, the fool here? See, yeah, this is this is nerves. Um, these are nerves in regards to um, this new endeavor, this new place, this new thing. Look at that, the Knight of Pentacles. All of this learning, all of this taking notes, okay? Let's see. How is this reflecting? It could also be reflecting into stagnancy of some sort. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. The king of wands in the reverse here. Bottom of the deck. Yeah, that's that. This king of wands reverse is looking back at all this like, you want me to be this vulnerable, bitch? I don't know about that. See the seven of cups here. Um, with the seven of cups, you're being called into more... Um, uh, more again more vulnerable energy than what I think you are used to um, and that's what your current frequency would be described as is just it, you're you're really sitting in this place here because you've had all these thoughts you maybe have even started this this thing you may have even tried it but you paused you're like I don't fucking know I don't know about that you're like I I don't know man uh, that's why every single card is in the upright except for this king of wands it's this is an energetic battle okay for sure let's get some more information here how would a tarot reader describe your current frequency how would a tarot reader describe your current frequency definitely about facing some childhood wounds i'm feeling like yeah the eight of wands here um to gain the confidence to say something this eight of spring says stress that comes from having many things happening at once successful multitasking sudden events or changes exactly this is the thing is like i feel like you've started multiple projects or you've started multiple things or you've upgraded multiple things in your life um you i feel like you've healed multiple aspects of yourself you've healed multiple childhood wounds within yourself but i feel like there's this one little last little bit that you are scrounging up you are taking your time to um approach here yeah look at that the seven of pentacles says have patience and don't worry take time to rest and plan your next steps a prudent investment of time or money again we have the seven of cups and the seven of pentacles at the bottom of the deck so you're really sitting here like is this actually what spirit wants me to do yes it is like i feel like again this is something that you already do like you might do this in the the privacy of your own home in your own room in your own studio in your own sauna in your whatever it is you do something already on your own but now you're being called out into the light with this and you are questioning this because maybe in the past um you suffered some sort of wound or something like this um, where you face some sort of barrier um, or blockage that has you doubting yourself now whatever this is it's energetic above all the two cards that just came out was i am captivating and i am free i am free came out in group number one so you may have resonated with group number one as well but i really feel like this has everything to do with 
um, you just needing to have a little bit more faith in yourself. And it's not that you don't want to have faith in yourself because I'm seeing here with the fool um, in your external world, you have the confidence to start this thing, but it's about the consistency and the drive and the reassurance that you give yourself to continue. There's something that you're being called to continue to work towards. I will surrender. And again, remember, I was talking about the vulnerability that this would require. And I think that that's where the stagnancy is coming from. Honestly, though, I'm really just seeing this energy of someone who is right at the starting line and they're going to do it. Like everyone knows that they're going to see, look, I am gifted. That's what I'm saying. This could be like a gift, a talent, a practice, something that you do behind closed doors. And now you're being called to do it out loud. This could be dancing. This could be singing. This could be acting. This could be writing. This could be poetry this could be gardening this could be um something to do with like animals and like uh i'm hearing harvesting this could be this could be so many different things but you're being called to do something out loud now so that you can help yourself grow in this way and even here we have this angel holding this person and like this guiding light here um you have to trust yeah we have capricorn here um and I feel like this, again, has to do with the vulnerability. You're like, why do you want me to be that soft? Why do you want me to do this? You see how she has flowers in her hair? Like, you're being called to be softer. And in the same stroke of being softer, you're also being called to take something more seriously. That's why Capricorn energy is here. Take this, take yourself more seriously in this aspect. Surrender to what it is that we're telling you. Mercury also came out in the group number one as well. So heavy emphasis on group number one but also mercury is the ruler of thoughts and everyone knows that your thoughts become things so if you're sitting here kind of like questioning what it is that you are hesitating to go towards or what you started and now you're kind of like yeah i don't know if i want to continue that that's what this uh king of wands in the reverse is about it's really about this self-protective energy that i'm seeing that you are literally about to let go of or you are literally about to um challenge okay so a tarot reader would describe your current energy as um abundant and ready to start something new but also hesitant um at the same time okay let's see here you're holding yourself back from some sort of new beginning here due to some fears of vulnerability it's what it, that's exactly what it all comes down to is um this thought of being a noob in some way shape or form or this thought of being seen in a softer light okay but this is exactly what is meant for you okay this is something about a softer approach all right your tarot reader would describe your current frequency as someone who is trying their best wow i I, I, I don't even know. I, what? Child wounded. Awakens compassion and desire to serve other wounded children. Opens the learning path of forgiveness. This is what all this is going on over here. This learning path of forgiveness, forgiving yourself, forgiving, forgiving others for whatever this, this harshness was that has you not wanting to be vulnerable. Child wounded is literally saying that you are working through this wound and you are doing it in a very healthy, mannerable way. This is what the terror would say about your current frequency this is not saying that you are fragile in any way shape or form this is actually the complete opposite letting it be known that you are being very brave right now literally facing your fears as they come up to you okay you're kind of having a playful um you're 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 having playful approaches and playful banter with these ideas that are being presented to you um through your psyche through dreams through sign symbols and synchronicities wow at the bottom of the deck we have child orphan i cannot make this up you saw how i talked about childhood wounds and every archetype card that exposed itself in your reading is about child wounds and feeling abandoned so that you couldn't be vulnerable it says independence based on learning to go at it alone conquering fear of surviving and when you are in this mode you cannot 
you cannot afford to be vulnerable and i'm seeing that you are simply trying to create a sense of safety for yourself so that you do feel vulnerable and i'm seeing that there's a card that's sticking out here oh my gosh it's the freaking hermit guys that's literally all this is i feel like this this is like manifesting to me as like some form of stage fright um it doesn't have to be like you're literally getting on a stage but maybe you're afraid to show someone your new painting or maybe you're afraid to apply for that new job or maybe you're afraid to go move to this new place or maybe you're afraid to walk into that place by yourself you are handling this and this is exactly what a tarot reader would say about your current frequency is that you are battling your own uh, not even battling honestly it's more of a negotiation here because there's not much of a fight here hence the i will surrender um it's more of a this eight of spring it's like you are more so being called to kind of slow down and that's the best way to negotiate with yourself which you are already doing you are currently in this knight of pentacles energy again we talked about every single card being in the upright except Except for the king of wands now you are in this place with this knight of pentacles negotiating with the king of wands of how you can approach this in a way that is appropriate for the king of wands to feel safe feel secure being vulnerable in this way all right so this is all that i have for you group number two that selected yellow jasper as well as the first number six sending you so much love so much life and something about integrity is coming through here okay so move with integrity and you know that you will be just fine all right if you select another group i will see you there if you would like to book a personal reading at the very first link in the description box the goddess of the unknown.com and we also have a p.o box as well as a virtual tip chart so that you can donate to the channel never ever ever required but always 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 appreciated sending you so much love and again if you picked another group i'll see you there but if not see you next time bye all right so group number three our flame is coming in okay this is very very representative of the energy that i was picking up for you how that flame is slowly growing and i know it's gonna do some big pop, pop, pop. yeah 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 don't get crazy no 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 don't get crazy okay so group number three that resonated with the second number six and amethyst this is your reading i am getting that you my friend are in a current state of proving people wrong and this is not because you are like oh i have to do this to literally prove them wrong no I'm thinking that there was an idea, there was a belief, there was something, there was something that was mentioned or thought of. And you were like, wow, that would be really cool if that could happen. Well, let me tell you that you are in the works, you are in the process of making it happen. I want to take note of how the flame came in really soft because I feel like this is something that you thought of, dreamed of, but you were like, meh ain't no way you know or you were just like uh wishful thinking or you were like uh do i even want to go that far do i even want that is that even really something that i want or is it just a thought well there seems to be some sort of breakthrough that has occurred is occurring or will occur that is going to prove that you were right on track when you had these thoughts when you had these visions when you had these feelings when you had these emotions so let's get into how would a tarot reader describe your current energy i feel like um there's some sort of massive break or introduction um into a certain world or a certain status or a certain stature or something um yeah the fool is at the bottom of the deck as i'm saying that um and this brings more certainty about where you are meant to go in terms of direction lost with no direction my faith is shaken but I, I gotta keep trying I gotta keep my head held high Yeah, this is just Six of Pentacles A story where you're working towards something Not seeing an end 
So we have the Six of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups. You're dedicating all that you can to something. See, look at that. The Two of Wands comes in the reverse. You're dedicating all that you can to something that creates some sort of happiness for yourself. And you don't know where this is going. This is what... Um, is brewing under the surface this is the subconscious energy that the tarot reader would pick up on in your current frequency the ace of cups here oh by the way that song that i was singing i just heard no in the upright that song that i was singing um was the climb by miley cyrus okay all right Something that you're involved in or will be involved in, I'm getting some something about a secret weapon. Like you don't even real see, this is what I'm saying, the Knight of Swords. This Queen of Swords, which is you, I do believe, you are some sort of secret weapon. Now, this can be reflected in your world in so many different ways, but you have more knowledge and great qualities to represent someone or something or stand for something you have way more than you give yourself credit for and i feel like the reason why you don't really give yourself credit for this is because maybe you're in a realm where you feel as though you are new or you feel as though you don't have enough information or background story to be like yeah i'm good enough to do this or to say this i feel like you're in new territory not recognizing how much you are embracing that um that natural beginner's luck energy but for you it's not beginner's luck you are literally a natural with whatever this new endeavor is this thing that you are dedicating your time effort and energy into i don't think you're realizing what it's doing for you first of all spiritually so the tarot reader would describe your current frequency as feeling directionless but you're actually literally a like headed for the center of a target it's like you're uh, you're blindfolded shooting for a target and you don't miss what else can we add here how would a tarot reader describe your number threes current frequency i'm not going to take both of these but i will look at them see the moon and the seven of wands this is literally the personification in cards of what i just said you're blind to what your emotions are doing for you you have no idea how far it's going to take you. See, the princess of winter, again, you're feeling, you're feeling small. You're feeling like this princess of winter, which is the page of swords. You're feeling like a page of swords when really you are the queen of swords in whatever this endeavor is. There are no pages out here. We literally only have queens, kings. And the star, see? Bottom of the deck, the chariot. You are on a clear and concise path that was made for you um and you see how this image is here like it's a lot of fanciful energy this is the reason why you can't really see beyond where you're i feel like you're just very distracted by what's going on in front of you and doing what you can with what you have this literally says look to the future with hope and optimism the power of faith to move mountains this is the line that's standing out before i even read anything it was the power of faith to move mountains that's how a tarot reader would describe your current frequency happy changes that bring relief from challenging times this is what you're working towards and again the chariot at the bottom of the deck success that comes from dedication and self-discipline that's what this queen of swords and king of wands is this is a commitment here this could be a relationship for some of you you could literally be in a relationship and it's new and you're not really knowing like where it's going babes it's going far very far um but celebrating your accomplishments being in the spotlight um 
a tarot reader would also describe your current frequency as someone you might be experiencing um, a sense of imposter syndrome for some of you you could be feeling like people are looking up to you and they shouldn't be but this had to happen at some point see I feel alone they the tarot reader would say that you are coming out of a hermit mode that's taking a lot of adjusting for you not so much as because you are resistant but because this is completely new territory for you bottom of the deck I am light see you were used to being a light in your own world and now you're somehow exposed as a star would be like now you're kind of put on display in some way shape or form whether this is a display for two more people five more people or 1500 more people it doesn't matter you are seen more now and because there are more people seeing you observing you experiencing you you are finding yourself judging yourself a lot more harshly You could have significant Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, and Aquarius placements. You have a drive for transformation, for progression, for advancements, and for learning. This is how a tarot reader would describe your current frequency. What else can we add here? How would a tarot reader describe your current frequency unbelievable is what I just heard I don't know I think that you are blowing people's minds and you don't know it yeah Aquarius literally oh my gosh Aquarius and Leo literally blowing people's minds with your light with your shine and I don't think you know you're oblivious to it literally you're oblivious to it that's what I'm saying like you do something so naturally that I feel like you could literally do I just was about to say with your eyes closed and I just saw this card right here I believe this is it yeah I literally was in the middle of saying you could do this with your eyes closed and the shape shifter came out with the eyes closed okay but let's get your archetype card here how would a tarot reader describe my group number three you may also resonate with group two see trickster um, honestly, this is you tricking yourself. You are blinding yourself to like, you see how they are, there's a, a magician's hat. Like you are blinded to the magic of yourself. And this is how a tarot reader would describe your current frequency as someone who's doing magic tricks and you don't even, it's like you're doing magic tricks and you like, how can I describe that? Bottom of the deck, we have angel helping those in need with no expectation of return. See. It's like you're pulling these things out of your hat and you're just throwing them in whatever intuitive direction that you're feeling. But what you don't see, like you don't even stick around long enough or pay attention enough to see the reactions to what it is that you're doing. Um, you don't stick around long enough to see what comes from you, like what's bred after or whatever you, like it's like you plant this one tiny seed, you don't even come back to check and you don't even realize that you done started a whole motherfucking forest because that one seed had bred itself from some sort of acorn and the acorn bred a whole forest for you. I don't know, it's like, wow. You are someone who is blinded by their own light and not in a way that you are feeding your ego with it. No, you are literally serving with so much humility that it's making you so, so humble that you don't even see how wonderful or how magnificent or how out of this world you actually are. I want to go back to this angel here. Yep, look at that. And right up under it is angel and the monk nun okay in bully and samaritan and healer yeah it's like you're literally just doing what you were placed on this earth to do you're just like in your you're in your bag as the people would say and being in your bag means being in your purpose being on your path doing what you're supposed to be doing and most people in your position would be trying to shit on other people you're literally selfless devotion and single-minded dedication to spirit while helping those in need with no expectation of return you're like i'm just doing this because i have to i'm doing this because it, it it feels necessary i'm not expecting payment i'm not expecting anything i'm just doing it and that's like the most mind-blowing part about it all okay so 
this is all that I have for you. This is how a tarot reader would describe your current frequency. Um, if you selected another group, I will see you there. If you would like to book a personal reading, hit the very first link in the description box, thegoddessoftheunknown.com. We also have a PO box as well as a virtual tip jar if you would like to donate to the channel. Um, but yeah, that's all that I have for you. Like I said, if you select another group, I'll see you there. But if not, see you next time. Take care. Be well. Bye. Group number four. I'm hearing that you would very much resonate with group number one. Okay. So it's very interesting. Um, spirit seems to have paired the first six with the second five and the first five with the second six, meaning group four is with group one and group three is with group two. That's what I was getting immediately. So that's confirmation for someone if you felt drawn to different groups don't listen to me bro listen to yourself i am not god i am just a fragment of all right let's go let's see group four group four how would a tarot reader describe group number fours current frequency you've got someone stressed worried i feel like there's multiple people that have deep emotions for you this could be platonic emotions but basically i'm getting that there are multiple people that are having nine of swords king of cups kind of energy about you like people that are generally reserved and in control of themselves um and mature that you've got them feeling this page of cups energy like they feel less than when trying to communicate with you you've got a very intimidating presence and i don't think you know it i'm being told to get all of these we have the four of swords we have the three of swords and we have i knew it was going to be all swords i just knew and the ace of swords so we literally have four three and one so group number four a tarot reader would say about your current frequency first of all your wisdom has people shook something that you said or did or manifested or something like this has surprised someone there's some sort of surprise here um something that you overcame that is surprising to someone or a suggestion that you made that is surprising to someone i'm hearing you're a lot more business minded than someone gave you credit for um, I'm also getting you are a bigger asset than you even know. You are also a bigger asset than you, than anyone anticipated. I'm definitely getting here. Like this has a lot to do with work or something, but like, even like, I'm almost getting this energy of like, you are heftier comp competition than what someone expected. Or you are more to keep up with and expected the three of pentacles or your dedication was more long-term than expected like your commitment to something was unexpected there are a lot of people questioning your loyalty to them the chariot and not because they feel like you're going to turn on them. No, it's more like they're wondering, do you value them just the same as they value you? There's like this energy here of like someone feeling unrequited, unrequited love. Yeah, the nine of cups and the high priestess. People feel like there's something that you know that they don't know, like at all times. People feel like you are always coming up with a strategy or something like that when in, in reality you are really just being helpful. I think that that's what it was. I think that there's people here. It's kind of giving these two things. Anyone that thought that you were 
melodramatic, anyone that thought that you were gonna be a problem um, or thought that, I don't know, just someone, anyone who had a sort of negative connotation about you has completely flipped the script. Now they see you as kind, giving, loving, caring, loyal, an alchemist, um, someone who knows how to take care of themselves and others. The high priest is at the bottom of the deck for the reason, for a reason. And then those who thought that you were like sunshine, rainbows, butterflies, and angels giving just to the detriment of yourself are now rudely awakened to see that, oh, that's not the case. So basically what I'm getting here is that there are two groups of people. These could be, it doesn't have to be an actual group. These are two kinds of people. Um, meaning one type of person comes into your life and they expect you to be closed, cold and cut off and just really to yourself in a way that is not serving to other people. And then they find out that it's the complete opposite. You're kind, caring, you're giving. Um, you make sure you take care of yourself first so that you can overextend yourself to other people. Um, while this other person thought that your kindness was a weakness. And both of those people are mind blown by the transformation, by the truth that has been revealed. So one person is mind blown by your dedication to them or a project, while another person is mind blown by your ability to switch up from going from caring so much to not giving a single F at all. Vice versa, take it as it resonates. Someone or multiple people thought that they knew how to read you and now they're seeing that that was all wrong. Yeah, see the Knight of Wands, people, mistook your your energetic levels your self-confidence for recklessness restlessness when in reality you're just passionate and you know how to disperse your passionate energies you know how to dedicate your passionate energies in a very positive way the three of swords here again Wow. So a tarot reader would describe your current frequency as malleable, meaning you match the frequency of where you are. Not necessarily saying that you become what you are looking at, but more so you, it's like you, I'm kind of getting this energy of like one thing does this. And so their action causes you to do this. It's more of you are yourself in every given circumstance, but you are careful about what version of yourself you give in each circumstance. One person's motion does this. If you didn't like that motion, you back up and you move like this. If one person does this and you like that motion, you move forward and you mirror that motion. Do you get what I'm what I'm getting at here? Spirit, please help me verbalize this best um, to reach as many people as possible. But above all, your ability to adjust your own levels of giving and taking are mind blowing. That's what a tarot reader would say, is that you can tell how my group number four feels about you based on their actions. Simple as that. I will worship. Oh, that card underneath wants to express itself as well. I will rejoice, bro. I was literally just thinking. I was literally just thinking of a gospel song when I said um, worship. I worship. I don't even remember the, the the words. These are two words that trigger me to think of gospel songs, though, from like my my church days, like for sure. I worship you, something like that. I I worship. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it. 
bottom of the deck i am light see as i'm talking about this like jesus light all this this light energy light frequencies and any other symbol that rec that resembles the form of guiding light i think that this alone is surprising to people the way that life has molded you see yeah capricorn you have this knight of wands energy but it comes with capricorn and worship this is self-respecting honor these are healthy boundaries these are difficult lessons learned, but reflected into the world so beautifully. It's like, I don't know, it's like this energy of people are looking at you as a muse of grace and gratitude. Deliverance, I just heard. Bottom of the deck. Wow, Saturn, exactly. You are viewed as so wise beyond whatever scope. See, Pisces, look at that. Saturn and Pisces. You are, your frequency would be described by a tarot reader as the softest, strong presence. This is like silent but deadly energy, not in a negative way, just your eyes say a lot. The direction of where you are headed, like you, there's something very poised about you. literally like this i will worship it's like people are looking at you like whoa someone highly regarded and respectable spotlights your positive seductive qualities i feel like this is what has people misunderstanding you bottom of the deck rebel see you literally rebel against whatever anyone first thought of you you become the complete opposite and it floors them so a tarot reader would describe your current frequency as i'm hearing the word exuberant loyal determined flexible forthright but i also heard forthcoming you're fun you're seductive you're this and that and in a bag of chips you are but you got a high price tag on you i feel like people miss miss mispriced you what is that misappraised you like your price they did not they did not value it as it should like and even if they valued it you came in and showed them why it needed to be doubled from what they thought it was tripled quadrupled from what they thought it was we literally go from four you, like i'm seeing these numbers it's like eh, like i'm giving it like four to three uh, a week tops and then it turns into three months seven months nine years A tarot reader would describe your current frequency as dedicated, committed, trustworthy, fruitful, but guarded. Guarded because you know that there is a palace beyond that gate where the guards are. I'm getting like this imagery here. It takes a particular kind of fella to tango with this one. 
you're very much out of the box, very much one of a kind, very much misunderstood, again, as a rebel would be. You take your lessons and you apply them to your life in a way that is very true to you. There are more people taking notes from you than you even realize. I'm getting it's people that you look up to that you're taking notes from, they're taking notes from you. More notes than they ever thought that they would be taking. And this is all that I have for you, group number four. Thank you for choosing and trusting me to be your reader. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to leave love in the comment section down below. Share this video with a friend that you think might enjoy it as well. And if you would like to book a personal reading at the very first link in the description box, the goddess of the unknown com. We also have a PO box as well as a virtual tip jar right below that where you can donate to the channel. If you selected another group, I will see you there. But if not, take care, be well, and I'll see you next time. Bye.